a defining moment that started a 12-year journey. Is Qatar. Qatar winning the right to host the World Cup. The country has since undertaken one of the most ambitious construction efforts in world history. Building eight stadiums equipped with sophisticated technology and dozens of other advanced sporting facilities. Multi-lane roads now cross the capital Doha and it's connected by a high-tech metro system with driverless trains. The infrastructure has allowed Qatar to jump at light speed, completing changes, infrastructural changes that would take other countries decades upon decades. We see metro stations, we see massive motorways, we see more modern, I suppose, medical infrastructure, facilities that we can use as residents of this country beyond the tournament. But through it all, Qatar faced challenges. In June 2017, four Arab countries imposed an air, land and sea blockade on the country. That was lifted in 2021, when the pandemic broke out. But with COVID-19 stalling supplies of labor and materials, Qatar faced more pressure to reach its 2022 deadline. It also introduced labor reforms, ensuring all employees received a minimum wage and it scrapped a sponsorship system known as Kafala to allow migrant workers to change jobs without needing their employer's consent. Since winning the rights to host the World Cup, Qatar has showcased its major development projects for the tournament, and it's also taken this opportunity to turn its capital Doha into a worldwide cultural, social, and educational hub reflecting the heritage and life of the region. Education City now hosts eight prestigious international universities. And new museums and libraries preserve the history of the country and the region. With expats comprising more than two-thirds of its population, Qatar has created many green spaces and social and entertainment facilities. A bigger strategy uh, in terms of, of uh, you know, modernizing the country, developing its infrastructure capabilities, and even just kind of putting it on the map, so to speak, in terms of it being not just obviously a hub of, uh, of natural resources, you know, as, a, as a, one of the biggest gas exporters in the world, but thinking about it also in terms of a cultural hub with the construction of its schools and museums and, you know, film institute and all kinds of other array of, of cultural institutions. Qatar says the World Cup is not the end of the journey. Under its Qatar National Vision 2030, it aims to sustain its transformation. Starting with the FINA World Championships for Aquatics and Asia's premier soccer tournament, the Asian Cup, next year. Resul Serdar, Al Jazeera, Doha.